Texas inmate is scheduled to be put to death tomorrow evening, but is he guilty of the crime? Ivan Kanthu was convicted of a double murder in 2001, but advocates now say new evidence is casting doubts on his guilt. Witnesses have admitted to lying on the stand, and even the lead juror is calling for Texas to stop this execution. Our Ryan Chandler brings us the case in its final hours. The evidence was clear. Ivan Cantu seemingly murdered his cousin and his cousin's fiance on November 4th, 2000. His fingerprints on the gun, his own girlfriend and her brother testifying against him, clothes covered in the victim's blood in his trash can. It would have been very difficult to see it any other way than, than guilty. Jeff Calhoun led the jury that sentenced Cantu to death. He says now he was tricked. The trial itself was fabricated. That's the simple fact, and it's not over yet. New evidence contradicting much of the trial. Forensics show the victims died hours after the prosecutors said Cantu shot them. The genes too big to fit Cantu, and the star witness admitted to lying on the stand. To kill a person in these circumstances is, is outrageous. If it's uh, extraordinary new evidence, it still can be kind of slid in uh, with hours to go. So. Um, that's where we're at. After decades of litigation, Cantu is now down to hours. So here's how this works. Cantu's legal team has asked the Court of Criminal Appeals to give them a new hearing, a chance to present new evidence. That court denied a similar request last year. So now their most direct hope is Governor Abbott, who can grant a 30-day reprieve. But I'm suggesting that the execution be delayed until these other things can be explored. Cantu's team holding out hope for another chance before the final irreversible decision Wednesday evening. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. The Collin County District Attorney Greg Willis has declined to revisit the case. He says he remains fully convinced Ivan Cantu brutally murdered two innocent victims and called the evidence presented at trial undeniable. Cantu's execution is set for tomorrow at 6 o'clock at night. And going in depth, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice currently has two executions scheduled for this year, including Ivan Cantu. The second is scheduled for next month. Now, this comes as the state has seen a dramatic drop in executions in the past couple of decades. Back in the year 2000, the state executed 39 inmates that year. In 2010, that number had dwindled down to 17. Fast forwarding to the current decade, there were only three executions carried out by the state in 2021, five throughout 2022, and eight of them last year.